eCharge Wallet is the hard shell wallet that can also charge your smartphone. That's today's review. All right, I was just reading over the instructions for the eCharge wallet. There's a few weird things in there I'm already noticing. Like, check this out. First, it says that your eCharge wallet comes already charged, but then it says to charge it before the first use. Another thing is it says it takes four to six hours to fully charge, but do not charge it more than six hours. So really, you have to wait for it to finish charging and unplug it. It says it's not recommended to carry the eCharge wallet in your pants pockets. It also says to remove the wallet before sitting down. Isn't that what most people do with wallets is put them in their pocket, whether they're walking or sitting? Kind of strange, but, but we'll see if this little bit of extra hassle is worth the eCharge wallet being able to charge your phone on the go. By the way, as I pointed out, the instructions state not to wear it in your pants or to sit on it. But look at this screenshot where it shows a person pulling it out of their back pocket of their pants. Hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do here is take my existing wallet, put the contents in the eCharge wallet because I'm going to be going out and we'll see how well it works. Okay, I don't have too much in there, so we're gonna put the, just a bunch of cards right now. This is all I really got. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cards in here. Hmm, it already feels a little bit difficult to close. Oh, look at the, come on, really? It's not even closing with that many cards in there. Come on. All right, I'll take one out. Shouldn't have to, but, all right, hey, it closed. It closes with five cards, but not with six. That's pretty bad already, but what if I shoved them all in the same pocket? I'll shove them all in two slots. It doesn't close. Really? Maybe there's a secret combination to get this to work right. I just had it. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one card in each slot. What? That's ridiculous, come on now. Try moving the larger card to the middle, the middle. Look at that. What if I take another one out? That's what I want to, but I'll take another one out. All right. Now it's closed nice and firm. Good. Five storage pockets for cards, cash, cards and cash. But right now I can only really fit four cards in there without it opening up by itself. I mean, with four cards, it's nice. When I had six, not so nice. All right. Well, I'm going to go out minus two cards that I usually carry with me and take this out and I'll see how it works. All right, I've just plugged in the eCharge wallet for the first time and it looks like it was not completely charged. So it's probably best that it does charge. All right, Billy? So I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and then I'll see how well it actually charges up my phone. Okay, it's been about an hour and 34 minutes since I put, plugged this in. And as you can see, it's blinking as if the e-charge wallet is just about out of juice. And let's see how much power I got out of it. It's at, phone is at 60%. So in an hour and a half, I went from 10 to 60%. So I got 50% juice. It looks like it's about done. So it looks like you're gonna get about half of a charge out of the e-charge wallet. This weekend was my wedding anniversary and we were out a lot and I also took along with me the e-charge wallet. So here's some scenes from that. The movie theater. And so far, it worked okay getting in here. But I still don't like that it only held a few cards.
All right, here I am, top of the stratosphere, and I just pulled out my e-charge wallet, which I've been sitting on. Even though they say you're not supposed to, I don't know who doesn't sit on their wallet and put it in their pants. So forget what the instructions say. I'm going to use it like a regular wallet. But here's my observations so far. When I open it up, I've got four cards in there. They say it can hold seven. When I put five or six in there, it wouldn't even close properly, so I don't know how it's going to hold seven cards. And as far as the charging aspect of it goes, uh, it takes four to six hours to charge, but it only charged my iPhone up 50%. So I really think as a wallet, it's kind of a fail, and as a charger, it's kind of a fail. I like the way it feels in my hand, but I'm not going to walk around my wallet like that. Uh, I think that this might be a first generation idea. I don't think it's ready for prime time yet, but I'll keep using it and maybe I'll change my opinion. Okay, I tend to just carry cards in my wallet, but I did want to test out something the commercial shows, which they have four bills of cash and six cards and they put them in the e-charge wallet. They put two cards here, one card there, the cash here, one card there, and two cards there. So I'm gonna see if that actually works. The problem with the cash is you have to kind of fold it like this to get it in that, in that slot. All right, that's kind of what they showed. Oh, there's, it is not close at all. No way, it does not close. What if I take a couple cards out? Take one card, ID out. Still doesn't close. I'll take two more cards out. Still doesn't close. What if I take all the cards out? Hey, what do you know? Okay, so one card. Okay, good. Two cards? Nope. I think that they're claimed that the e-charge wallet can hold six cards and four bills in cash is not accurate, at least from what I can tell. You may have seen advertising for a product called Atomic Charge Wallet, which looks really similar to eCharge Wallet. I might pick that one up and do a comparison of the two of these down the road. So in the end, I'm not too impressed with this first round of these charging wallets. Hopefully they can improve on it and it gets better down the road. If you've used eCharge Wallet, Atomic Charge Wallet, or a wallet like this, let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.